What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from What's Up in the Sky 37 or online at www.whatsupinthesky.com and you are looking at the uh, shiny object down on Mars. Now I haven't seen many people uh, call this 13 or 14 different things. I've seen shiny object, I've seen lizard, I've seen it called everything. To me it looks a little out of place and there's a couple other little interesting artifacts in this picture as well. It's been all over the internet. I'm sure you've seen it before if you're looking at this video, if you're one of my subscribers. If not, and this is your first gander at it, it sure does look like there's something metallic coming out of there. Um, something at least much shinier than the rest of the picture. Now what I like to do to these pictures, I drop the temperature a little bit just to kind of bring it down to make it kind of look a little bit more like what our eyes see here on Earth. Now I think that NASA adds a little bit of that orangey, uh, I call it puke orange to it. Um, but this picture is interesting. There's also what looks like to be the, uh, over at Pumapunku there's a lot of this where it looks like the rock has just been melted out and there's some coloring in this rock you see some reds up here which is kind of interesting as well too some different type of rocks than we've seen um, but let's go ahead and I'll show you where to get it from there's also uh, and then we're gonna see if we can't go ahead and pull that out real well and this is a little interesting anomaly there I want to look at as well and then right there next to it but that thing is that a lizard is that alive you guys are gonna have to tell me on this one uh, I think I'm pretty much stumped Here's where you get it. As always, this link will be below in the description. This was taken on saw number 173, so it's been out for a little bit. Um, it's been caught. Uh, right now, after this video, I think I'm going to go ahead tonight and get the rock nest done over with and I've got a lot more curiosity stuff that's been coming in it's been amazing what's been coming in people have been sending me so also there looks to be a couple anomalies right down here um, looks kind of like a hook some sort of hook anomaly there um, let's go ahead and pull this up in Photoshop see what Photoshop can do with it which I've already done I've already pulled it up uh, make sure that I haven't done anything too much to it so here it is up here the anomaly and I want to go ahead and I'm going to crop it just so we're working with that right there and I'm also going to make it a little bit bigger by hitting up the resolution to 300 just making it a little bigger for us to work with okay so let's do some auto tone some auto color some auto contrast I should have probably did auto color first let me uh, let me back that out step backwards step backwards step backwards try this again auto color auto tone auto contrast so that's what Photoshop sees here in its spectrum of light and what I see is it looks metal to me it looks like some sort of handle it almost looks like a shifter in a car like you know one of the little Hurst shifters you have anybody ever had a uh, car with a little bit of a little speed behind it or <coughs> excuse me even just a shifter but uh I'm not really sure about a living creature because it looks like it's dug in pretty well. Um, although I could be wrong. I mean, I'm not sure what they could look like. You know what I mean? I've seen stuff that looks like stones that look like it's it's living creatures up there. So I'm going to need your guys' help on this. What do you think? Now let's go ahead. I'm going to take a step backward. And I also want to take a look at some of these other little anomalies around it too like see this to me is pretty cool right here how this rock comes in almost looks like stuff's been drawn on there and maybe etched in right along here now I'm not the, the touch pad doesn't work as well in here as it does otherwise um, and also some very interesting inseams around here what looks to possibly be the uh, a head of some sort of a statue figurine um, the rocks do seem to kind of look to be, you know, set here, maybe quarried here, or something like that. So it's very interesting that that rock out there for me. And see the cuts that look to be on this one right here. Oh, oh look at this cut here. Okay, look at the straight cut as it goes up. Then it notches in and it comes out for a perfect, uh, perfect curve. And then on up and then in. And now look, and it's cut flat here, all the way to here, and that's cut flat that way. It's cut flat across that face. Very interesting. It looks to be buried. This looks to be sand that can move around pretty easily here. Um, now there's also something under the anomaly I wanted to look at too. Oh, the thing next to it. Here we go. This up here next to it. Let's see what we can come up with this. Oh, there's a couple other ones. This is a nice little picture up here. There's a lot on here other than that little shifter. So. 
Let's do the same thing right here. That almost looks like a brain. It's kind of creepy. Hmm. <laughs> Gosh, when you yank out all the color, it's so interesting. Here, let me do it to the whole picture. You guys want to hear it? Let's do it to the whole picture real quick, and I'll be done with this one. This is one I just wanted you guys to see. If you had, like I said, most people who have seen this channel I know have seen this anomaly because you guys rock and you go all over and see, check everybody else's out. Um, let's do these. Let's do the whole thing. Let's see here. Auto color. So that does look like it's more on Earth. I tell you, Photoshop, you know, it's not made. It's made to balance the colors, and sure does balance them out like that. Makes it a little crisp too. Now under there, where there was a couple of things I wanted to look at right here. So let's take a quick look right down in there. And what we got, and where were you? Right there. It does look like a hook, something with a hook, and on this end has a. Uh, it almost looks like a fishing hook, or a, you know, that would be the hook line, and that would be where the string would be attached. A pretty heavy duty one. Um, and then we have our our metal anomaly. It looks to be some circle type rocks up there. Um, could that be a lizard? Could that be something living? Hit me below. Let me know what you think. If you see anything else in here that I missed, go ahead and let me know. It looks like there could be a couple things I've missed uh, that didn't really go over all that well. Um, very interesting part of Mars. As always, love these rovers. Love what they're sending back. This is very interesting over here, too. So this is something to take a look at. Maybe this these wall kind of here kind of looks like a little rock wall. But maybe looks like a little uh, divot. And look at that right there. It looks like a circle pyramid that's sitting on its edge. Oh man, look at over here. And this right here, this too, that's either part of the strata or that looks to be cut along with the other one, just like the others were. Very interesting. Much love, guys. Let me put that uh, last one up one more time. Where are you at? You, Mr. Shiny. There it is. What do you think? Take it easy. Much love. I'll talk to you guys later.